Well, I started my fall foraging. Every field and forest has food in it, if you know what to look for. So here's some things from here in America and abroad. Okay, this one is a bit more hidden. Let's see. But because of this orangey, rusty color, so there's another one there, there's one here. I like to be oh, beautiful, beautiful. That's a beautiful color and it's quite visible, even with the leaves, you know, even with the leaves. Let's see. All right, this one is nice too. Healthy, very good. Very good, not too bad, not too bad. <laughs> Show you a very unique mushroom. I don't know, I have to take a picture of that. Look at that. How beautiful is that? I have no idea. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna take it, but um, I'm gonna take a picture trying to find it. It's quite rare, so if you don't have to, just don't take it. I, that's my rule because you're destroying uh, so yeah, it's just very interesting. A lot of people already <laughs> started. Some people say that they came all the way from Krakow. We met a couple and they said they came last Thursday and they found only four pieces. So people coming from Warsaw and, and, and Krakow. It's a famous area for mushrooms. This is me foraging for chestnuts for about five or six weeks out of the year every fall. And this is how I do it. Sometimes the chestnuts pop out of the that spiny covering. You don't dare touch it with your fingers. It will puncture your skin. It's amazing how sharp those things are. So you roll it underneath your foot and a chestnut will pop out. It's very interesting. You'd never guess that there's something edible inside that thing. small. Not even worth picking up. This looks like a good one. Let's see if I'm right. I'm right. Well, after three years of doing this, I'm getting pretty good at it, aren't I? It's too small. Perfect. Here. Look at that. Nice. Huge, too. Nice. Big one. Nice harvest. 
as they start drying out and maturing, they will fall. All right, I'm going to finish my foraging. Four and a half hours already in the forest. We're walking back. Four and a half hours. Long walk. Not bad. Not bad. I gave a few to my friend, you know, at the beginning to encourage her. So, not bad. It's enough. It's enough. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. These are two baggies prepared for the freezer. Cleaned, cut, signed 2022. So I know that these are going to the freezer. These I'm going to use it. You see, these are like, they contain a lot of water, very heavy. So these are, I'm going to use, uh, you know, just put them in a pan. Uh, I fry them a little bit and I can use them for scrambled eggs, but I don't want to leave them like that. I could put them in the refrigerator too, but... I guess I may just well just fry them. It's a different kind. This is a different kind. It's not as as good as these ones. Yeah, you see, it's it's this one is like uh, matte, and this is shiny. It has this kind of uh, layer of substance on it. So these are not as good as these ones. It's a different family, but you know they are they are good too. But you see, these are like. Not as shiny, you know, and they all dry, but this one has this layer. Yeah, so that's that's the difference. And here also, they are different too. This one is like yellowish. This can be like even getting like this kind of, but it's a different color, different texture. So these are like super heavy. Well, this is heavy too, but this one is the watery one. So like, for example, you cannot dry it really. You have to eat it fresh. Also for freezing it would not be good because it's a very, it contains a lot of water. These are like mm -hmm. heavy, but I mean, these are not as heavy as this one. Actually, this one it just contains a lot of water, but this one not. So I'm happy they were not even, um, not so many bugs inside. I've checked inside, but I did not see the box. So this is great. So when I say there's no box, you see, when you open, it's nice and clean. And when it's box, it's like all the way here. They're coming, uh, like slimy stuff is coming out here. And this is nice and clean. So although, you know, here is just this coloration. It has, it's just because it's, uh, it's take out of the, you know, uh soil but it's 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 nothing but here it's nice and and clean there are no bugs compared to sometimes you know what i had i threw out some with the bugs you cannot leave for the night the ones with bugs and without because the bugs from the bad ones they come to the healthy ones i i've made that mistakes in the past <laughs> and i contaminated the, the good ones so i'm very careful now so you see, it it looks very healthy though. So that's good. That's good. Oh, look how healthy it is. Nice and clean. You need to be careful not to step on any of them. I think I got enough, but look at how many on I already stepped. Although I've been very careful, but I'm leaving some, uh, especially the little ones, so they grow when somebody else will find them. And have a nice surprise. So this is a new spot. These are gonna be good for like pierogies. I need to figure out what to do because these either you eat fresh, but you cannot freeze them like that. You either have to cook them and freeze them. So I need to figure out, but that's enough for me. <laughs> that's enough. That's enough. I'll look how many are left. I get about a pound of chestnuts every time I go out foraging, a pound to a pound and a half. So I take the chestnut, the whole chestnut, and I put an X in it. I don't cut all the way through. I just kind of score the top with an X. And then I put it in water for about an hour and let it kind of get saturated. That way some of the steam actually cooks the chestnut when you roast it. So I will put an X in each one of these and then put them in a bowl of water, let them sit, and then 
you roast them in the oven after that. And they come out absolutely magnificent and make your house smell fantastic. Cut out the jibber-jabber. Don't be babbling like a fool. Say what you got to say. That's all. Then shut your dang pie hole. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's